I'm live, I'm live, I'm live, and I can't sing, and that's okay. Good morning from Swindy Overcast, Radelaide. Right, just bringing my comments up on screen. How are we all this morning? I forgot to tell you I was coming. Good morning, Sally Willis. You'll need to come in today and get boxes if you want them, babe, before I forget. I keep management out reminding myself I need to ring you and then I don't and then, you know, all the things. So, good morning, everybody. Happy, I don't know, what day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday. Thank you, Lou. Happy Tuesday. Good morning, Amanda Raja. How are you, my love? Good morning, Monica. Hi to everybody. So it's Tuesday. It is another day that we are here. We are happy. We are alive. We are doing the things. We are being grateful. Um, I thought today I would just do a quick little couple of little cards using some Altenew stamps. And as some of you realised yesterday, for those of you who watched my live yesterday, if you watch, oh, if you watch these lives this week, you may or may not be treated to a special little code. Here is Tuesday's code. Tuesday's code is you are amazing. And that will give you 20% off of all paper collections for today only. So what that means is that I think you guys are amazing. Did I spell that right? Hang on, let's see. You are amazing. So 20% off paper for today. So what, what, what that means is when you get to your checkout, you need to type in the discount section um you are amazing do you have a code yes you do because you're amazing um if you want us to post your old order or hold your order i did a post a little bit earlier today just showing you how you can add comments guys not mind readers here we don't know whether to post your order straight away or hold um so please do um let us know if you want us to post it. Um, and just another note, guys, please be kind. Please be nice. Louise and I are just one people, two people even. We are doing our absolute best here. Australia Post has been letting us, you know, they've got their issues as well. So um, we are we're doing all the things to keep you happy doing all the things to make your order get to you quicker but I'm not delivering the mail um, and I'm doing the absolute best so Louise and I are smashing it out but we're just two people and we can only do so much okay so just remember there are people on the other end of the internet we are doing our best to keep you our customer happy. All right, so I'm gonna do a little stamping here. So I have a piece of six by four watercolor paper. I'm using my stamp press. I've put my stamp down somewhere safe, here it is. This is my stamp and I know that my stamp looks like this here and I'm gonna do some watercoloring. So I thought I'd do a couple of off stampy things happening today. So I'm gonna pop that there use my magnet now if you're missing a magnet and you can't find one or it broke or something like that we do have magnets available online that you can purchase for a very small price of not very much <laughs> um, I'm using the distress archival black soot because that's my new favorite ink today and I am going to stamp the or ink the life out of my stamp here now it's the first time I've used it, so it might take a couple of goes to get a perfect print. Sorry about the reflection. And as you can see, it's a little rough and ready in some of those areas. And because I've used the stamp press, I can go back 
and I can go over and over and over again. So I'm going to be watercoloring these in a moment. And yes, theoretically, I probably should have done this before. But you know, hindsight's a lovely thing. Uh, so there's one and I'm going to do a second one as well. And I'm going to do it on plain cardstock and just show you the difference between plain. Oh, my fingers are cold. Plain cardstock and watercolour. I might just take that one up a little bit more there. And there we go. So how's everybody's Tuesday morning going? I hope everybody has um, woken up where they are and that they are feeling good about today. Do some hot laps in your backyard if you're in lockdown. Go get some fresh air, put some sun on your face, rejuvenate those cells a little bit. Make sure that you remember to drink lots of water today. I just said that out loud for me, let's be honest. We'll go through an entire day here and maybe I've drunk an inch out of my water bottle, which is not good for anything. And then pee line. And, <laughs> and then, I oh know, this is verging on too much information, but I know you guys all do it too. And then go to the toilet and realise that you're just peeing straight lime green because we haven't, we, we haven't um, had enough to drink throughout the day. Yeah, you know, you know. Because we're trying to get your orders out. Because we're trying to get your orders out and we're not allowing ourselves enough time. Oh, and I totally stuffed that up. Okay, Natalie, stop talking. For goodness sake. All right. Oh, you're out of lockdown, Faye. Oh, and you're in regional Victoria. Okay. Congratulations. Well, that is good news. So let's just hope that it stays like that for a little bit and that people are doing the right thing and they're doing the check-in and they're, they're doing all the good things. Okay, stamp the life out of that. Give it a bit of pressure. Give it a bit of love. Hopefully I've nailed it the first time. Of course I haven't. All right, happy with that. All right, so there's one done. Just the one. And this time I'm gonna go right there. My magnet down to secure my paper. Val's out of lockdown to, yeah, we hope it stays that way, honey. Unfortunately, I do believe this is going to be our new normal. This is going to be um, something that we just don't necessarily like, but we're just going to have to accept and suck it up. Um, and it, uh, you know, we just have to be grateful that we are, one of the lucky countries that is able to get out there and, um, you know, we're doing a lot better off than some other places. So um, I'm just going to stamp a page in my journal too. Just had a little moment of thought going, yeah, why not? Um, so I can't use my, well, I can use my stamp press, but I'm going to use my stamp block, which is probably going to open me up to a couple of, curly things but you know what let's give it a go so I'm just using my stamp block here and I'm going to do a I'm going to watercolor in my craft journal so I'm going to give it a really 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 juicy and you can see that I've transferred over to my other my jet black archival ink and that's because this one I think is a bit juicier so I'm going to get up and I'm going to put all my body pressure on it. For, so for some reason that makes no difference. But Oh, yes. Nailed it. And then I'm going to do it again just up the top there. So there's no reason why you can't create beautiful, simple stamped images in your art journal. Actually, you know what I will do? Oh, here's an idea. I'm going to mask off this side and I'm going to stamp up there. All right. 
that. Stamping it. Hopefully I've got this perfect. No, I haven't, but that's okay. Let's commit to it. All right. So what I want to do is I want to color my images. So coloring my images, um, I've got one here on plain cardstock, which is what I make cards out of. I've got some on watercolor paper and I've got my craft journal. I'm using the Paint of Flower Coral Sunset Outline Stamp. The really cool thing about these is you have got some guide here on some things that you can do with it. So you can heat emboss. It gives you this little instruction sheet um, and some other bits and pieces that you can get. So don't be afraid to actually open the packet. See if it's got a, a great little flyer in it like this. Um, watercolor painting requires water, good brushes or brushes um, of any description and watercolors. So I have got here some Ulta New watercolors. I have got, that's my um, small set of 24. This is my 36 pan and I'm going to use this one today. Before I start, I always spray my watercolors with water. I activate them first so that I am using something that is where I'm just going to activate this side because that's all I need for the time being. Um, what I might do, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, I have to have a piece of paper towel handy. Paper towel is going to make a massive difference to how much water is on your brush controlling what you do, giving you the ability to clean off your stamps as well. So the brushes that you want to use, you want to use something that has got a, it's called a round brush. So something that's got a really lovely soft tip with a bit of a point to it. And this is going to hold a bit of water. So I've got a combination of brushes here. These are the Ulta New brushes. Um, these are two from my personal stash, but you can see that they're soft tipped and they are going to work nicely. Uh, I'm going to wet my brush first. Just off screen here is my coffee cup with water in it and I'm going to just jump in. So you've got to use your watercolour palette which is your container. All right, Use that to, to give yourself a bit of a guide on how much what your, how intense your colour is. I use my paper towel to take off any excess and I'm just going to push the colour around and you'll see that I haven't put any more colour on but I am pushing it around like that. I can now go back in and make it a little bit more intense and the colour is only going to go where I have added the water. I'm leaving a little bit of white showing because that's how I roll and I'm going to make, mix up a second color here and that's super dark so the cool thing is is I can test it on my my palette here as well so I'm going to go back in with this color that I started with and I'm going to add depth with that second color so and I'm, I'm giving I'm avoiding the middle section dun, 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 dun. bit of water and I'm keeping it wet. Now the ability to move the colour around with uh, water comes down to the paper as well. So I'm using a watercolour paper. This is a 300 GSM watercolour paper which means that it's got a little bit of um, strength to it and it's a little bit thicker. So I can move the colour around a little. I can add a little bit more depth by adding some more splotches on there and the paper is not going to be compromised. The other thing I like about this particular paper, this particular paper is a, um, it's white. A lot of watercolours are not white. A lot of watercolour paper comes in at um, perhaps like a an off-white brown. This is this is pretty close to white. All right, so I do like this one. 
Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna loosely, super loosely, color these in. Making it super loose is going to give that, that effortless sort of look, okay? So I do quite like that. So I'm just gonna get in here, spread that around with a wet brush, no more color, just a wet brush. And now I'm going to do the other flower. In there like that. And I'm picking up from that puddle, not going straight into here. Because if I go in straight into there, then it's just going to be super dark. And I don't want a really dark colour. I want something light and airy. Um, good morning, Kerry Ann. How are you, my friend? I hope you are good. Um, all right, so there we go. And the depth is going to come in from adding in this this these layers all right whoops and i purpled i purpled in my or i burgundied in my yellow which is probably not ideal i'll clean that off in a minute all right so now i'm just going to spread it around like that and i'm going to put this aside to air dry while i do another card because if i go in now and do this section here and here and these leaves while it's wet your colours are probably going to mix in together and I'm going to make a muddy mess. And nobody wants that. So this time, this one is stamped on just plain smooth cardstock. This is what I make cards out of. Normally, if I'm going to make cards, I'll do it out of this. Um, let's use a different watercolour set. Let's go with... Sorry, guys, I'm a bit sniffy this morning. I'm a little hay fever-y. It's a bit windy here in Adelaide, and it's um, it's playing with my sinuses. All right, so these ones here are the Altenew 24 pan. Um, and I'm going to do something in... There we go, let's commit to it, orange. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna pick up my color and I'm going to pop it in the side here so I have a little palette that I can work with, okay? So with this section here, or with this paper here, because I have got a plain color, sorry, a plain paper, it means that I have to work quickly because paper's quite porous and it's soaking in pretty quickly. So I'm just going to get my second colour in straight away. It's a lot more unforgiving as well. This is why watercolour paper is the best. But hey, it's certainly going to work. So I'll do the same thing again. And I'm using lots of water. I'm not being afraid of the water. I'm not thinking, oh my God, I'm going to saturate it. It's just water. A little bit of red on here now. Like so, touching it in, letting the letting the water move the colour around, all right? And I'm not being perfect about it because ain't no one got time for perfect. So I'm going to pick this puddle up here. Still haven't dipped into here at all, all right? And I'm going to... This is a much bigger area to work with, so I need to be a little bit more decisive. Pushing up to the outline... Take the water off my brush by using my paper towel to dab it off onto. And now I can grab a little bit of this red and create some depth. Flowers are not all one colour. Whoops, wrong red. Doesn't matter. Let's commit to it. Like that, like that. And I'm just going to go, hey, that works for me. And I'm going to pop that aside to dry. And now I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Close that up. And I'm going to do something in my art journal now. So doing something in my art journal. I'm working on a craft surface. So that means that I need to think about my colour. Um, a couple of things I can do here. I've pulled out some other watercolours that I've got. I've got some Ganzai Tambies, which are these goldy ones. 
I also have got some Ganzai Tambies in these. Now, I don't have these ones here in stock, but the Art by Marlene ones are exactly the same. I've also got the Art by Marlene Fluoros. I don't think I'll use fluoro on here, but they are... Do you want to see what they look like? Because they are just bam. Let me have a play. Wetting them first, making them juicy. Juicy, juicy. And here is a... I'll use... I've got a bigger brush going on here now. There we go. So let's talk about how bright these are. <whistles> Super duper bright. Look at that. So if you love yourself a bit of um, bam in your face, then these Art by Marlene Neo um, Neons are just phew. Look at that. All right, so that's really cool. So they are like mind-blowingly awesome. So I can stamp over the top of that. I might do that off camera. Um, okay. Um, sorry, guys, didn't mean to hit the camera then. I'm just going to pop those down aside. Now, I'm going to colour these. So I might just colour these in golds, all right? Um, so these are the Ganzai Tambi Golds. Metallic -y gold ones, and I'm going to be a, a bit more generous. So I'm going to go in here. So I've got a blue gold, red gold, yellow gold, champagne, light gold, and a white gold. So I'm just going to start with my yellow gold. And again, I'm not working on watercolor paper, so that means that I need to be decisive. I need to be confident and I need to not fluff around. And you know exactly what I mean by that because we are all guilty of it when we are creating. But because this is a metallic, it is sitting beautifully on craft, okay? And although it just looks like a hot mess on your screen, at the moment. It's it's kind of okay on mine. Look at me sounding almost convinced. So this is in my uh, Dina Wakeley craft journal that I am working on here. I uh, have stamped in black archival ink because it is not going to run. It's not going to the, Im the ink, the, sorry, the stamped image is not going to be compromised by the water and I'm not going to lose the integrity of my image. Um, and I am going to put that aside to dry. But that shimmer looks pretty damn great. So these are the Ganzai Tambi watercolours and they are a little investment piece, but you know, they're darn fine. Right, so I can come back now. I'm going to jump on back to my first watercolour that we did. All right, so there's the two colours loose over the top of uh, that stamped image. Hey, Louise. Yeah. Would you grab me a tissue, please, love? Oh. I know, it's exciting. No, I'm a little concerned about a bit of nasal drip this morning. S sorry, guys, way too much information. Um, how about I grab the rest of that tissue out of the box? Um, the hay fever's got me good. Radio. So, same thing again. I'm going with a thinner, thinner paintbrush. And I'm going to grab my green. Pale it off to the side. Just so that I know exactly what I'm getting. And I'm going to get in here. And get it on. But if the if the water is sorry if your watercolors are dry, of course you're not going to get a great, nice color. So make sure that you wet your brush. Spray your watercolors first. It's super easy to do. Don't overthink it. 
And guess what? If you stuff it up, that's okay. It's just a bit of paper. You haven't really stuffed it up at all. You've just um, shown yourself not to do it that way again. So for those of you just tuning in, um, don't go anywhere because in a minute, I'm gonna show you on screen a discount code that you need to type in at the checkout at nataliemay.com.au and that will give you 20% off of pa patterned papers for today only. So you have to type, whoops, you have to type the code in at the checkout where it asks for a discount code and you can get 20% off papers. And that also includes the brand new papers that I put up online last night, if they are still, if there's still any left. Um, we got some fantastic papers in from Craft Consortium. I'm gonna change. And they are just divine. I also got in um, some brand new Stamperia. And they are also, you can get discount on those. Um, what else is discounted? Six by six pads, A5 pads. Christmas, if any of you have got some time on your hands and you have started, started creating Christmas cards, can't wait to get one from all of you. Put me on your list. Um, and um, yeah, for today only, up until 11 p.m. tonight, 20% off, but you have to type in the code. If you want us to post your order on Thursday, I've put instructions up on a post earlier today on how to add comments to your order so that we know to hold your order and we won't post it straight away. Okay, see I've just got a bit of colour on there. Now I'm going to come back in and do the same thing in my art, on my art journal page. So with this, because I need a metallic, ideally a metallic green would look better, but I don't have one. So how do I fix that problem? Well, I make my own. So why can't I mix two together? So why can't I add some metallic to that? Oh, that's right. No reason at all. So I'm getting a nice little wash of metallic out of here and I'm gonna add it to here. So now I've got a metallic green. Bit more water making it a bit more fluid and it's probably needing it a little bit more green there we go being super loosey loose 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 Getting it on there, like so. Then I'm gonna grab that and put it over here. So it's still got that lovely shimmer to it, but I have mixed two different brands of watercolors together like that, all right? There's no rules that say you can't do that because I'm the boss. Okay, that works for me. Pop that aside letting it dry. It's always good to have a couple of things on the go, isn't it? All right, so this one here, I want to add a, a little bit of colour into the middle where my, what are they called? Stamens? Stamens are. So my stamens need to be, don't laugh at me, Louise. I know that, are they, you, they're called stamens, aren't they? Oh, I don't actually think that pronunciation is quite right. That's okay. What do you mean my pronunciation is not right? I don't know what you're talking about. It can be what you can say it however you like, remember? It's a safe place. Ish. Until you laugh at me. How, how am I supposed to say it then? Yeah, see? Now you're stumped. I like. I'm just going to say it like that. So just a little touch of yellow into here to give my flowers a little bit of a pop. Um, if it's too much yellow, add some water, tone it back. Mm-hmm. 
And if you think, oh, that's a lot, that's all right. Grab your piece of paper towel, dab, dab, dab and dab. All right, now what I'm gonna do with the rest of this is I want to add a few splatters of color. So the color that I wanna splatter is I wanna get some more pink in. So I've got a slightly bigger brush and I'm making a slightly more juicier wash here, into here. A lot more water and I'm just going to splatter it out, okay? I don't want too much over my green. And I'm just making sure I don't have too many splatters on that bit where I've already been. All right. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add a little bit of water spray to this to make it a little less blotchy and a little bit more splotchy and use my paper towel and run over and that's gonna soften it up nicely. All right. So that was just gone a little softer, a little bit more smudgy and looks a little bit more appealing. So the same thing here. So this is the plain cardstock with no uh, plain cardstock. It's not watercolor and I'm gonna grab that yellow and do that. And because I think that that's a bit too bold, I can take my paper towel and tap it off and tap it off. I'm gonna grab a little bit of orange, mix it with this yellow and a bit of red and mix it with that. And now I'm just gonna, oh, see, it's not splattering, it's not juicy enough. Okay, a bit of water spray. And the water spray is just making it softer and not so blotchy, rolling it back. So that I've just got a nice little splatter on there as well. All right, back to my art journal page. I'm going to, I'm gonna add a little bit of color next. So the Art by Marlene metallic watercolours are perfect. I just didn't need to open yet another packet of paints. So same but different. So just putting a, sm a smidge of colour over these. Wetting them, making them nice and juicy. Gold is magnificent. Sit up straight, Natalie, sit up straight. Okay. Some other watercolours that we have in stock that are fantastic, if you like something that's nice and bright. I've got these ones here from Art by Marlene. These are the Bold and Bright sets, and this is the Whimsy and Bright sets, and those colours are pretty spectacular as well. Watercolours will last you for such a long time. They are really, really good tool to have, especially if you're a card maker. Um, if you are someone who, whoops, someone who likes to make a card, then um, these are great and it's quick and easy. Scrapbookers, if you like to a little bit of, you want to add a bit of mixed media to your backgrounds, then these are also really handy to have with watercolours. All right, so let's finish these cards off. And let's pop that aside and that aside-ish, that aside. Wipe down my, oh no, now it's hit the floor. But that's okay. 
and I have got one, two here. Quick and simple. Now let's have a look at the sentiments on this. These here, a little bit more every day. So this is a card set that has got some really um, soft, uh, some universal sentiments. So we've got miss you in a, in a script. I know that we're probably getting a little bit of um, glare there, but you can see that. Miss you. So this sentence builders, miss you. Let's hang out a little too much. Love you. I really just hug and close today and every day, a little bit more every day. So I'm just going to go... Um, what am I going to have today? Miss you. I'll do miss you. Miss you. Do you miss me? Oh, but do you miss me, Louise? That is the question. The answer is... Oh, don't, even, don't answer that. Walk away, Natalie. Walk away. And I'm going to be super bold here and I'm going to stamp straight on to my card and hope for the best. Touch, touch, touch. Okay, is there a trick to stamping? Absolutely not. It is all about being arsy. Firm, confident, da da, close enough, almost straight, but that's okay. And line it up first. Go, where am I going to put this? Okay, that doesn't go nicely on there, but what it will do, I've got this one that I messed up earlier. I'm going to cut a piece off. like that excellent and now I'm gonna add da, 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 miss you miss you let's hang out miss you let's hang out so I'm gonna put miss you let's hang out on this one Dun, dun, dun. black pen so I'm giving it a black pen frame because I've got black stamping I have got black in my flower so I need black in my edge as well it needs a black frame and I'm okay with it being a loose doodle frame because a loose doodle frame gives it that more I've made this handmade look and it's not a production line. I've thought a bit more about it. I've put a little bit of me into my card, okay? Rather than just a stamped image that I've colored in. All right. Dun, dun, dun. So that works for me. And while I've got my black pen out, actually, no, I won't. I'll cut this out. A pair of scissors. And I don't know if this is going to work like it does in my head, but let's give it a whirl. You know what I'm like, full transparency. If I'm going to mess it up on camera, hey, I may as well. Nah, don't like it. Let's go back to my Miss You stamp. Commit to it, Natalie. Commit to it. Oh, I overcommitted. Look, I got stamp goobers on it. You know what stamp goobers are, don't you? I'm 
promise you today and every day. All right, so same thing again is now I just need to give it a border and I need to take the focus away from my stamp goobers. And I'll show you my stamp goobers in a minute. You know when you over stamp and you press down too much and you've got ink everywhere that you don't want to be? That's what an ink goober is, a stamp goober. There's my stamp goober right there. But that's okay. Right, so that one works for me. That one works for me. How am I going for time, Louise? Uh, 10.30. 10.30, rocking it. Okay, art journal page. Okay, so my art journal page is not dry, so I'm going to quickly just dry that off so that I can add, add some black pen over the top of my stamping. So what's happening here is paint absolutely everywhere, but that's okay. So while I'm drying this, don't forget, I've just said exclusively, today only, Tuesday, today is Tuesday. If you go to the checkout, and use the code you are amazing you will get 20 percent off paper collections you will not get this unless you type in that code and it is for today only okie dokie nataliemay.com.au anything that um i'm gonna now draw over the top of these so all of the paper collections are going to be that price. So the reason I'm drawing over the top is because metallic -y paints and shimmery paints put a layer of shimmer and mica over the top of everything. And that includes my black sharp image. So just by drawing over some really loose doodle lines does two things. It has two purposes. A, it, it makes the lines sharper and B, it makes it look like that I have drawn these images because, you know, essentially, that's what I want you to think. I want you to go, oh my gosh, it's fantastic. She's drawn those flowers. Where in actual fact, all I've done is just go over my stamped image really loosely with a black pen. And this is my art journal. So I'm not striving for perfection in here. I am striving to make something arty and something pretty. Okay, and you don't have to do the whole area. You just have to do the bits that, you know, you need to give it some dimension, a bit of an outline. And I'll show you what I mean and what I've done in a moment, but it has made a difference. And I've put it up on an angle simply because the reflection of uh, the glare from my, my light is um, playing with my eyes. So, um, I hope you are all having um, a little bit of creative time for yourself, allowing yourself to have a little creative time. Um, we have, I touched on it yesterday, how important creating is for your mental health and how, how important it is. I'm no bloody expert on this, don't get me wrong, but I know that creating something makes me happy. Um, I know that I need to do this to give me a little bit of a, a creative release. Um, and I know a lot of you feel the same. And I think that that's super important. I know that we don't put aside enough time for ourselves. I know we tend to put everybody else first in our families and our workplaces and we get home from work and we are absolutely, absolutely exhausted and we can't be bothered doing anything. Yeah, I know. I get that too. We prioritise cleaning up our craft room 
because we think that we're going to get judged over it. Guess what? The only person who's judging it is you. If you can't find anything, hey, welcome to the club. Neither can I half the time. Um, all right. That works. I'm going to now quickly find a sentiment stamp. Um, I didn't have anything prepared, so I need to come up with something clever to write in a black pen. Um, that I don't have. I've got a fine paint or paint pen. All right. Need a, need a, need a quote. Need a inspirational quote. Okay, guys. Give me something. What you got? I haven't got anything handy. I'm just having a flick through my stamps here. I know. I might do it in a fine pen. And write in your own handwriting. Crikey. Handwriting's your own legacy. I bang on about this all of the time. What about time versus achievability? Not all that glitters is gold. Bang. Alison. Now, the lovely Alison um, brought up a bit of a point the other day as well. Um, a couple of people, not just Alison, have mentioned that my next art journal class is falling on Father's Day. Fantastic. I hope you all are able to spend some time with a, a man person and celebrate his place in the world for Father's Day. Um, if you are unable to do my live Facebook class because it is smack bang in the middle of the day. You know, the really cool thing is, is you can go back and watch it at any time and do it at your own leisure. So if you're not available uh, to do the art journal class, uh, because my class does small sm fall smack bang live in the middle of Father's Day, that's okay. My online classes are designed so that you can go back and you can watch it at any time. Okay, because I'm thinking about you. It's all about you. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. So just to recap on what we have, what I've given you today, a little bit of homework. I want to see you all do a little bit of a homework page. I have used an Altenew stamp that I've lost half of already. Um, this is a Altenew stamp called... Coral flower, I think. I've lost the packaging. It's hit the floor. Hang on, it's on the floor. Hang on, I got it. Calm down. Stop looking. Coral sunset. I was super close. Um, Altenew coral sunset flower stamp, and I have stamped on watercolor paper, and I have stamped on flat cardstock. So I haven't done anything super tricky. I did my use my stamp press, and I did mess it up, which you all saw me do that. Um, and I used watercolors. So I used a few different watercolors. I then used my art journal, my craft art journal, to do a lovely, nice, subtle page as well using metallic watercolour paints. Not all that glitters is gold. Correct. So I'm super happy with that. That's come out looking really, really nice. And I will take some photos and put them on the page. So just to recap, for today only, uh, until 11pm tonight, Adelaide time, you can use the code you are amazing to get 20% off paper collections, all right? There is a comments section and there are instructions on how to get to the comments section as well uh, on a previous post that I posted today. Uh, and you can add please hold or please post on Thursday if you want us to do that. We are more than happy or please, you know, just send a bit of love, do whatever. Um, so you can do that. Uh, if it is your second or third or fifth or first order, whatever order it is for you, you will need to pay postage a second time, but we'll actually refund you that extra postage, okay? There's no fancy um, postage code for you to use. You just need to pop an order through and we will refund it for you. So I hope you are all having 
a wonderful day. Look after yourselves. Give the people in your house some love. Um, say hello to your friends. Check on them. Make sure that the people around you are okay. Are all okay as well. Wash your hands. Kiss your kids. Make smart decisions and I'll chat to you soon.